Welcome to Borderless Piano Academy. Today I'm going to teach you the famous song Clocks by Coldplay. I've arranged it for you so you can show off to your friends how amazing this piece is and also uh, do it in an easy, simple and fun way. In this course, we're going to go over the hands separately. First, we'll find out the time signature, then we'll find out the rhythms, then we'll find out the notes, the right finger numbers, dynamics, articulation, pedaling, and eventually we'll learn how to interpret it in a slow tempo, hands together, and then also in the normal tempo in the end. So, let's start! The beginning, uh, as you can see, has 4-4 four, four time signature, so this means there are four quarter note beats in every bar. So let's start with the right hand and figure out what the rhythm is. On the right hand, there is something that's very interesting happening. Uh, we have straightforward eight notes, however, the way that they're grouped is different. It is not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but in fact it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, when you actually get rid of these little um, beats, then this is what you're left with. And this is. When you play it faster. actually keeps the whole energy going and it is in fact used most often in South America and it is called tresillo, okay? So ta 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 And so um, think of it in, uh, in a fun way where you have to create an emphasis on every first beat of the group. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, okay? So um, this happens for the first eight bars and then uh, we continue to bar nine where we have the theme, that's where the vocals come in, okay? And so let me actually uh, tell the rhythm while I clap the beats. So let's pick a tempo that's slow so we can do it comfortably. I picked 80 BPM for now. I will include the click track and the resources, but you should also be able to find it on any app on your phone or online on YouTube if you Google 80 BPM click. Okay, so let's start. Ta 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 Okay, great. So if you realize, basically we had um, three repetitions of the same thing, okay? One, two, three, and then the fourth time it came a little bit different, okay? So normally da, 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 okay? That was our repeating uh, rhythm. And then the last time it comes, there were actually dotted quarter notes. Da, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, bum, ba, da. So we had dotted quarter notes, which makes dum, da, dum, da, right? Instead of quarter notes, da, 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 right? And then we have um, the same beginning of the next bar, da, dum, bum. And then instead of a rest, we actually have two eighth notes, da, dum. It's kind of like a tail. So um, you can actually structure this in your head. You know already the first three repetitions, yeah? And so just think about it as three plus one. This time, please join me and let's do this together, okay? Two, three, four. Ta, 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 rest, rest. Ta, 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 Ta-ta. Great. So let's keep going into the next measure. One, two, three. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, ta. Two, three. Ta, 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 ta. One, two, three. Ta, hold. 
Okay, great. So it's a bit awkward tying only one note, um, but don't worry. Um, you can tie or clap or do both if you want. Um, so this actually also had a pattern, rhythmic pattern. Uh, basically the same thing repeated two times and the end was different because we had a tied note, okay? So even though we're working on the rhythm, we also have to see if there is a tie and if that tie is between the same note head, right? So in this case, measure 23 and 24 are tied together uh, with the same note head. That means the second time we don't uh, ta or we don't play the second note, okay? So that's the general rule. So anytime you see a tie uh, tying the same note heads, you don't play the second time, okay? If it's a different note, you do play it. Um, all right, so uh, let's keep going. We have now, again, the same structure of the eighth notes uh, in groups of three plus three plus two. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Let's actually this time clap it with the click, okay? So this is gonna repeat two times because we have double bar lines, okay? And uh, whenever you see a double, double bar line, that means go back to the beginning or to the place where there are um, the starting point of the um, double bar lines, okay? So you have one that's facing inside, that means that's the start, and then um, it's kind of like brackets like that, okay? Great, so let's actually clap this and then keep going, okay? Two, three, four. This keeps going on, okay? Um, so if you're comfortable with that, uh, we'll keep going. So make sure it is eight bars long. Then the next section is bar 29. Here we have quarter note beats, okay, uh, on the left hand, but the first one actually is played by uh, the right hand because it is easier to play right after the first beat of the left hand, which is so far here in the, in the bass, okay, so... Okay, so let's uh, learn the rhythm here, let's tie it, okay, with a click track, which is 80 BPM, okay, right? So let's start and I will actually ta and clap the rhythm to the beat and please join me. One, two, three, four. Rest, ta, rest, sta, ta, 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 hold and rest, ta, 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 rest, ta, rest, rest, ta, ta. Da, rest, da, 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 hold, rest, da, 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 rest, da, rest, rest, da, da, rest, da, 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 hold, hold, okay, great, so, as you may have realized, we had exactly the same thing repeat three times, and the end, we just have a held note instead of da da da. Okay, so um, there is something called a triplet here. Okay, a triplet means we squeeze in one more note in the same length of the beat. So, for example, one two one two one two one two three one two three one two three. Okay, so the main beat didn't change, right? But then we squeezed in three notes per beat. So we squeeze in three quarter note beats. Uh, within a two quarter note beat space. The way that you can memorize this pattern is by memorizing uh, it as a rhythm, okay? So bum, 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 bum. And this is called a polyrhythm, okay? When there are two rhythms happening at the same time, we call it poly, which means many, right? Rhythm, so multiple rhythms, right? Bum, bum. Please imitate, okay? Ta 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 Okay? Um, so it's quite easy. Uh, this is the only thing you need to learn about that part. Uh, let's go to bar 41 where we have whole notes, okay? And then let's keep going on. Uh, remember, when there is a tied note, we don't play the second time. So um, we keep going, okay? So one, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ta. <laughs> oh, 
gold and then da 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 okay so this goes on until the very end okay where we have just a quarter a note and with a fermato which means it's a stop okay so you can just take your time there so it's quite easy. Um, let's actually figure out what's happening in the rhythm of the left hand this time. So with the left hand rhythm, we have uh, whole notes, okay? So that would mean uh, it equals to uh, four beats, right? Four quarter note beats. So let's start tying it, okay? One, two, three, four. Ta -ta. here it's quite straightforward basically we had whole notes and then we had eighth notes with the uh, three plus three plus two and we had quarter notes okay um, there is um, then that section that comes back where we have um, the eighth notes which are also in groups of three three two okay so the next part bar 25 actually also has eighth notes on the left hand huh? um, but uh, they are not grouped in 3 plus 3 plus 2, they are just grouped in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So just make sure that you know that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? Instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay? So bar 26 is different because there's a quarter note. So da 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 And then it goes back to da 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 Okay, in groups of just straightforward eighth notes of four plus four. You can see from the shape of the notes how they are grouped. Okay, um, even though the rhythms are the same, the way that um, the shape of the phrase uh, changes and affects the rhythm is incredible, right? So. rhythm is exactly the same however the groupings are different because of the shape so this is something we'll also um, work on when we learn the notes so let's keep going we repeat the section uh, twice right because we have the dotted double bar lines then we go on to uh, measure 29 where we have straight quarter notes on the left hand except for the second beat which is taken over by the right hand so ta rest ta ta let's do that part until um, the next section. One, two, three, four. Ta, rest. Ta, ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 rest. Ta, rest. Ta, 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 ta. Okay, so that repeats three times. We've already um, done that. And um, in the end, uh, measure 40 just has straight quarter notes, okay? So let's clap that and keep going to the next section, okay? So empty bar, one, two, three, four. Ta, 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 ta. We hold this for eight beats. And then ta, and then eight beats. Ta, then ta, and then ta 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 ta. So this part comes again with the three plus three plus two. In fact, ta 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 ta. Right. Um, and then this keeps going on until measure 57, where we have again those whole notes and then um, a tied whole note, so eight beats, and then it ends. 
Great, so let's actually figure out what the key signature is and work on the notes of the hand separately. The key signature here has four flats. Four flats mean either we're in A flat major or in F minor. A flat major would be that, and then F minor has the same notes, but it just starts from the sixth note of the scale. So that's the sixth note. Okay. So let's figure out. Normally we look at the first chord that the composer used. In this case, we have the first chord. On the right hand is E flat, B flat, and G. These make up E flat major triad because it is. Okay, that E flat, when you move it here, that's the root position. That makes an E flat major triad, and that is not our option. Okay, so we go to the next one. Next bar has D flat, B flat, and F. And that would be basically a B flat minor chord. Okay, we move that F here and then find the root position of that triad B flat, D flat, F, and that's B flat minor. So, still not an option for us. And then the next one is again the same chord, okay? And then here we have finally something we could use as our tonal center, which is F minor triad. Okay, F, A flat, and C. Okay, so basically we resolve only on the fourth bar, uh, and that is our home key, so it's an F minor, okay? Uh, it does not start in F minor, but it leads to uh, and resolves to F minor, which is our tonic, okay, our home key. So let's look at the right hand notes. We start with the fifth finger here, okay? And uh, E flat, and then second finger here on B flat, and then first finger on G. And then we just do one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, that rhythm, right? In groups of three plus three plus two, okay? With this, these uh, finger numbers. So let's actually uh, turn on the metronome and then uh, play this. Uh, okay, two, three, four. So basically, uh, the pattern is 4 plus 4. It's the same thing that repeats two times, same notes, same rhythm, right? Great, so let's keep going. And by the way, to practice this part, you can just block them and then see what changes in the next um, block of chords. Okay, so here basically, the, the middle note stays the same, same finger two on B flat. Okay, so, so the top and the bottom change, they just go uh, a whole step down, okay? Okay. Okay, so you can practice that. And make sure you use the right finger numbers every time, okay? So fourth finger here, second and thumb, okay? And then say the same, and then we resolve to F minor with the third finger here, okay? So this stays the same. The middle uh, finger from B flat moves a whole tone uh, below to the lower note. A flat. So the middle finger here moves from B flat to A flat, a whole tone. Okay? And the top note from D flat moves half a step to C. Okay? And the bottom note stays the same. Okay? So let's block them. And then now you can practice. When you're playing these, do not hold on to any of the notes. It has to be legato, so connected, but don't hold the note after you press the next one. So release, okay? Okay? That is very important because your wrist has to stay uh, relaxed 
and your arm as well. If you keep holding on to notes, your hand is gonna be really stiff and you can hurt yourself, so don't do that, okay? Um, great, so let's keep going. Uh, this is measure nine. Uh, this is where the vocals come in, okay? So let's actually turn this on to three, four, So that's very easy, okay? We start again with the E flat, with the fourth finger, okay? And then we all use these four notes, okay? So it goes from E flat to C, and then up, back down, in steps, okay? So you can block these notes, and then remember it like that, okay? So make sure the rhythm is right and the finger numbers are right. So let's do it once more, and Please imitate me and the next uh, couple of notes are these four notes. Okay. So everything stays the same, like B flat, C and D flat. And the upper note actually goes to A flat. So you just uh, lift your hand. Okay. Those are the notes we'll use. Okay. One, two, three, four. So what happens here is rhythmically we already know that the end is different, right, with the dotted rhythms and then that little tail. And the notes are in fact the same, so this is very easy. We still have those uh, four notes in the rhythm. So first we had an octave here, right, above, so the same bum, bum, ba, da, da, dum, bum. so these four notes. And then now we have these four notes, but then we have that addition. So to be able to play those connected, we have to switch the fifth finger when the C comes. So bum, ba, bum, ba, ba, dum, bum, ba, dum. because then we can use our second finger on F and first finger on E flat. Okay, let's do that rhythm once together. Okay, one, two, three, four. Great. All right, wonderful. So let's keep going. On two, three. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Rest. Two, three. As you may remember, again, this rhythm is the same, except for the very end, yeah? Uh, because we had a held note there, the same ones that we don't uh, play the second time, that very last note. Um, and uh, the groups of notes that you could block is this, okay? Okay, these four notes. So it goes from G, third finger, and fourth finger on A flat, and then skip down to F, okay? So let's do that. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So um, this is already under your hand. You used um, second finger on F and um, third finger on G. So you just keep those there, okay? Just da -da, okay. And then the second time it comes, it starts uh, with G and use your fifth finger on there and then all the steps are going to go down okay like that so let's do that with the click one two three So that um, C, you have to press before the first beat of the next bar and right after you say four, okay? So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So great, uh, let's keep going. Here we have the uh, eighth note groups of three, three, two, okay? But the notes are different than the beginning, okay? The beginning was um, 
Ooh. yeah, with the E flat triad. Um, but this time we actually have A flat. Okay, so A flat, G, and E flat. So fourth finger, third finger, and thumb on E flat. Let's do that. One, two, three, four. If you realize, the only thing that changes is our thumb. Everything else stays the same. So A flat on fourth, and then G on third finger, and then we have this. I'll call this the kind of like the bass line, okay, uh, of this group. And da -da -boom, E flat, D flat, and then C. And then that whole section repeats again, okay? So you can block them and then like that. Okay, and then practice it again without holding on to any notes, okay? It has to be connected legato, but do not hold once you play the next note. All right, cool. Now we go to the next section uh, where we have that delegation. <laughs> um, so we have... Um, uh, the right hand with a quarter note rest, and then we have the chord. This is such a juicy chord, I love it. It's a major seventh chord because it is made of a major triad on G flat, so G flat, B flat, D flat. That makes a G, G flat major triad, okay? And then we add a major seventh, okay? And that major seventh interval is from the first, our root, okay? First note. So normally this would be an octave, and then that's a major seventh interval, and then that's a minor seventh interval, okay? And so in this case we have this one, okay? So that is called a major seventh chord. Um, great, so let's do that to um, click. One, two, three, four, rest. So that lands the A flat with our fifth finger, it lands on the first beat of that bit measure. So one, two, three, four, one, okay? And then we have the triplets there. So this is how it sounds. Two, three, four. Okay? Don't worry too much about it. You will get used to just memorize how it sounds, okay? And we'll practice the hands together once we know the notes of the left hand here. Um, so the notes are basically just steps going, steps going down in D flat major, right? Okay, so A flat, G flat, F, E flat, and D flat. Okay, you just need to insert the right rhythm. And make sure that F lands on the main beat, okay? Great, and then we have rest. So here we have the bass clef, because if we were to write this section in treble clef, it would be so low that you wouldn't be able to read what notes there are. So that's the function of the bass clef. So we use our thumb on A flat, okay, and the third finger on C, and then D flat with our fourth finger, okay? Rest, rest. And the same thing. Rest. Okay, here we have the same notes except the other direction. So we start from the fourth finger on D flat, then third finger on C, and then A flat with our thumb. Remember it was da da da, this time it goes da da da. Okay, and then rest. One, two, 
one, two, and at this part, I, you actually hold. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's keep going. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Seven, eight. Here we have octaves, so first one is G flat octave, and then F, okay, that one, and then this one, and then we have these two notes, so G flat again, but then this time with D flat on top, and then you can use um, third finger here. So all the time when you play octaves, it's usually first finger and fifth finger, because the interval is too large. Okay, so let's keep going. We have now, from bar 45, that section that we started with in the beginning, okay? Okay, it's the same, so I'll just skip that part, and then we go to bar 53, where we have the same rhythm, but different notes, okay? And if you may remember, we already have figured out this part before as well. Um, and it was uh, in the section which is bar 25 onwards, the same notes, okay? And this happens until the end, and then we have these two notes in the very end. A flat and, okay, and C, okay? Da -da -bo -da 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 -da. And a fermata, you can put the pedal there. Let's now take a look at the notes of the left hand. The left hand has uh, an E-flat major triad in first inversion. So normally it would be this, but here we have it here. So that E-flat has gone from here to here. So this is root position, E-flat major triad, and then this is first inversion, that would be the second inversion, and then back to root position because there are only three uh, notes. So here we start from E-flat major, first inversion, two, three, four, one, Basically, um, this is B flat minor chord, second inversion, because normally it would be this, first inversion here, and second inversion this, okay, with the bass with F, okay, so F, B flat, and D flat. You can use fifth finger, second finger, and first finger, okay, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then F minor chord, one, two, three, four, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go to that section where we have three, three, two, okay? And these are the same notes of the right hand, just an octave below, okay? Remember? The same thing is happening here. And we call that unison, okay? When both hands are playing the same notes um, in an octave apart, you can call it, uh, or two octaves, doesn't matter. If it's the same notes, you call it unison, okay? minor so uh, in fact you can think of it in a really easy way you remember these first chords we played you just arpeggiate them and that means you turn them into arpeggios yeah like that you know normally that would be an arpeggio and then the second chord turns into an arpeggio Whenever your thumb comes, um, just emphasize it a little bit, okay? Uh, so let's actually start from the beginning uh, with ATV PM and play it. One, two, three, four. Make sure you use the right finger numbers, one, three, five, and then one, two, five, and then one, three, five, okay? So let's keep going to measure nine, okay? One, two, three, four.
Okay, so let's figure out what notes these are. Basically, this is again E flat major arpeggiated, but you skip the G here. E flat, B flat, E flat, and G. Okay, so you stretch your hand like this. As soon as you play the next one, you rotate your wrist and your arm so that you're relaxed and not stiff. And then you keep going to E flat and G. Okay? So these notes are E flat major triad notes, just uh, expanded. Okay. So second finger here, thumb here, and then we have a B flat minor triad extended here, and then right. So B flat F, D flat B flat. Okay. So five, three, one, two, and then same thing happens. Same thing for uh, the F minor triad, so F, C, A flat, F, okay, so those notes also belong to that triad of F minor. Um, and then we have uh, an octave high, same thing. happens here is the pedal okay so every time harmony changes you can switch the pedal but you can put it down in the beginning of the bar and it really gives um, that color the sustain effect right it's the pedal on the very right and switch put it back again Also switch here if you want because there's a rest on the right hand so it is always um, nice to uh, pay attention to those wrists and then switch the pedal okay change it and when I change uh, uh, then that means basically I take my foot off and then put it back on okay for example here right because I accidentally got the right um, the last note uh, in that harmony the next harmony so make sure you listen okay and as soon as you play that okay and you're not supposed to hold on to any other note then you press again the pedal okay so if you do this then it's gonna be mixed so make sure whenever you play that bass note, nothing else is held and you push the pedal right after that. Push, release, push. So you do that quickly, release, push, release, push, okay? Cool, um, let's do that with uh, the beat, okay? One, two, three, four. right so we've already learned that so let's keep going um, we have now uh, measure 25 uh, where we have the same eighth note groups but in different uh, groupings so uh, in measure 25 now we have uh, eighth notes but this time grouped differently so instead of one two three one two three one two we have one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay so the notes are again E flat major triad this time okay so let's do that one two three four <laughs> On the finger numbers here so we start with the fifth finger on E flat and then B third finger and then second finger here on E flat again and make sure you press and then you lift all the other uh, fingers and you rotate with your wrist and elbow okay and then G here basically this uh, hand 
goes on top the, to B flat over that G, okay, and then go back to G, okay, same way. And when you're going down, you can use the fourth finger here on B flat, okay. And then you lift your hand, okay, so you start again with the fifth finger, this time on B flat, D flat, F. So again, we have that uh, um, B flat minor triad, remember? So E flat major triad. Okay. Okay. So we actually play uh, B flat, fifth finger, D flat, fourth finger, and F is second finger, and then thumb on B flat, and then we go. To okay, so third finger on D flat, and First finger on F and then E flat with our second finger. So let's group them. That's one group block. And then that's the second group. You can practice that. Make sure when you're playing you don't hold on to any notes, okay? Okay, and then next group is same uh, harmony in fact still we're in B flat minor here but the inversion is different right so we actually start from uh, the bass note being F okay so with that and then these two okay so and here uh, basically do okay so it's the third finger all the, all the time on B flat here and second finger for D flat Okay, and that's an octave. Okay, and then let's keep going. So here we have this group. That's the F minor triad um, notes, but uh, this time uh, first inversion. So the F is here, but we don't play that. We start with the fifth finger on A flat, and then C on uh, fourth finger, and then second finger on F, and then. A flat with our thumb. So let's block that. And then we have the second group like that. So second finger C, F, and then C and back to A flat. Fourth finger. Okay? So let's do that. And make sure that you actually are comfortable here when you're going here. Okay? Okay? So don't hold on to any notes and you just uh, kind of uh, use your thumb as a pivot note to fly over uh, that A flat and then press the C. Okay, and end with the fourth finger here, okay? And then you print that uh, four bars again the same way, okay? And uh, let's keep going. Uh, this is bar 29. Uh, we have that bass note. So that's the rhythm normally you would hear one, two, three, four. But remember, the right hand takes over that first chord, okay? So that chord was the major seventh chord we have. So, okay? So that's how it's gonna sound. Please do that. First, do this. Now, give that chord to the right hand. Let's do that with the beats. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. Uh, keep going. So this is going to be just same quarter note beats. Uh, the chord changes, however, so it becomes D flat major uh, triad. Okay. So from here, these two notes stay the same. So second and uh, first fingers. Okay, F and D flat. The only thing that changes is basically the bass note, which is A flat now with our fourth finger. Okay, and then we go to F minor triad, our home key, with the first inversion. Okay, so that we root position, that's first inversion. Okay, so A flat, fourth finger, C, second finger, and thumb, F, first finger. Yeah? So let's actually play that part. Mm, two, three, four.
Okay, great. So um, basically, it's very, very easy. Same rhythm goes on, and then you just uh, keep going. Uh, bar 40 is just one more quarter note um, chords instead of the rest. And then it, co it keeps going. So we have that um, G flat again. Uh, and then uh, we have a D flat uh, major triad root position. Okay. And then we have that major seventh chord again, but without the D flat here. Okay. Let's continue. Here we have basically the same notes as the very beginning. Okay. Uh, and then same again. And then this just keeps going on uh, for many more times. Okay, and then we have eventually the same thing repeats with the whole notes of the chords. Um, great job! It's very easy as you can uh, see. You just need to learn the right finger numbers and the pedaling and the rhythm. And then as soon as you do this, you'll be able to combine the hands. Before you combine the hands, there is one more thing you should remember is uh, the general rule for pedaling. As soon as the harmony changes, please change. And if there is a rest, please change. And uh, otherwise, feel free to use it uh, mostly on the first beats of the measures and uh, as long as the harmony is the same you can keep those notes for example so I've changed um, in the beginning of the bars okay four times I have even though the harmony stay the same to the clear sound there so uh, pedaling is all about listening and then judging yourself so I think um, you should record yourself and then see how much pedal uh, you are using most of the time we don't realize and we always over pedal so um, don't do that okay uh, let's start now with 80 BPM click uh, this piece okay this is your practice tempo one two three four
so let's actually go over this. Um, it is a bit tricky, uh, I think, when you first do it. So you have to make sure, really, that both hands are ready. Um, but uh, let's actually um, go over a few tricks that will help you. Um, so the first one, okay, uh, we start. The... Okay, so if you can look, um, it's the same notes, okay? The right hand and left hand has unison, as we... Um, uh, talked about before, but this time the left hand is a chord, whereas the right hand is arpeggiating, right? And make sure you emphasize the fifth finger, okay? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then here it's the fourth finger. And then again it's the same, same three notes, okay? And then... doesn't matter uh, however you feel like um, using in terms of fingers you can but make sure it, every time it's the same one you use you don't switch okay so um, you can do that and when you're playing the right hand you can kind of push with your um, elbow a little bit down now and also a little bit to the right yeah it's kind of like a circular motion with your wrist where you go kind of like that and then you go back, okay? So it's a mini circle you do with your right hand wrist, okay? And that actually helps you not hold on to the notes. So when you play the thumb, uh, it, you rotate back with that circle, okay? So it's a really natural way to use your arm um, and... And then you do that with your left hand this time too, okay? So you make sure your wrists are kind of doing these little circles together, okay? Like that, okay? And here you have to play it. Um, kind of uh, strong, okay? Stronger than um, the volume of the left hand, so that it's the vocals that you emphasize and not the accompaniment, right? So... And let's now actually work on phrasing, okay? So... And then you drop, okay? Da -dum -boom, and then rest, okay? And then same thing happens. Okay, it has to be smooth and your wrist is flexible and you can actually um, do this once you have uh, practiced uh, that kind of slow tempo in the same dynamic. So that is a great way to practice in the beginning, but then when you have to put in all the music and the interpretation, you have to really work with the dynamics and the phrasing, okay? Um, so here we have that, and then... Again, we go up as the notes go up, and then we go down in volume as um, the notes go uh, to the left, uh, down, okay? Down the staff. Um, right, soft. Okay, and let's work on that. Okay, this will take a bit of time for you to um, combine the left hand with the right hand. Just make sure you practice with a click, okay? and they are lined up in the same um, positions, okay? Let's keep going. Here we have that section where you have to emphasize one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two with the fourth finger. Okay, while the left hand is doing the arpeggiations. triplet section dum bum 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 remember okay 
And you can practice this together after you're uh, able to tap the rhythm. Okay? One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, okay? Um, do that, and then we can actually switch to the hands, so you can do this. And you can do the opposite. Okay? Memorize that, okay? And then we can do it together. So whenever that bass comes, that has to be like an ocean wave that comes. Okay? So make sure it's an accent, you know, and then next uh, chord, the major 7th uh, chord, should be to give color, so so it's not loud, okay, this is loud and here you can actually add another note here uh, if you want more grandioso effect and, or you can just do G flat alone Let's keep going. This is the same as the beginning, okay? And then same. And you can increase the volume here. You can make a crescendo because the final is coming. whereas the right hand uh, is different. Okay, so when you're practicing this section, uh, please don't use the pedal first, okay? Make sure the notes are even and equal, okay? And you can group them as we did, uh, hands separately. fingers know um, and make sure um, you don't just uh, visually memorize but also you uh, memorize how it feels to play those notes okay so really think about eyes closed okay how it feels to press those keys now you have to really activate all your senses to be able to memorize music and internalize it okay and then the same thing happens but this time with the left hand that is uh, just playing chords of the same notes okay just a dream kind of like that okay um, so make sure that you are um, ready for those dynamics and phrasings uh, before you start that uh, so uh, please practice slow uh, many times and uh, and then when you're ready uh, do um, the musical parts okay um, I will play now uh, for you from the beginning till the end how it should sound when it's free and uh, without any kind of click tracks uh, and uh, with volume uh, and dynamics uh, and with the right articulation and pedaling. Okay, so enjoy and uh, I'll see you soon.
so much for taking this course. Uh, I cannot wait to see your progress videos. Please share them with me, tag me on uh, social media, and please join our community of Borderless Piano Academy as well, so you can share your progress videos with other students and get reactions from me and them, okay? Thank you again, uh, have a great time practicing, and see you soon in another course. Bye-bye.